How long have you been working in film? Um, you know, I went to college hoping to be a filmmaker. Um, at some point, I switched my major from electrical engineering and computer science to um, media art, as they call it, um, after three years of that double major. And I've been working on this particular project um, for 12 years. And so, um, yeah, I can say that I've been wanting to be a writer, a director, a creator of content, you know, since I was a little person. Um, but I didn't actually start to chase this dream until um, I changed my major. And that was probably in now I'm gonna date myself like 2000. <laughs> no one can date themselves more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking to Legeria Davis, director, producer of Black Barbie, a documentary premiering at the Sidewalk Film Festival on the 26th and in, in Birmingham. Birmingham. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Legeria, what would you say to the the young ladies that are aspiring to do film directing, writing scripts, uh, the young women who are, you know, thinking about pursuing that degree in college or want to see themselves in the position that you're in, what is your advice for them? Some of the lessons you learned and uh, any advice you can give to them coming up? Yes. Um, I think it's definitely not for the faint at heart. You got to not give up. Like it might take so long, but if this is what you actually want to do, there are black women who are writing and directing um, and you can do it as well. And um, I kind of always had this, like, I didn't come this far to get this far, like, just keep going. Um, yeah, and believe in yourself. You are your biggest champion and you can do it. You can do it. I'm like, if I can do it, a shy, little, like, soft-spoken person um, who's just got all this creative imagination, um, because it's two part. It's not only just having that creative imagination, but it's also, um, you know, knowing the business of it and being able to connect with um, the business side of it and make them feel at ease um, with, you know, coming along on the journey with you, trying to create your creative vision, but you can do it. And what this documentary, of course, um, you know, looking into the life of Barbie and, of course, your aunt who worked for Mattel for a very long time is Beulah Mae Mitchell. Um, during that time, I, and I don't want you to give away the whole documentary, were there a lot of black women, men that work uh, for, more, for Mattel? No, like, and as you'll see in our documentary, um, no. Um, there were a lot of, you know, people of color who worked um, on the assembly line, but we know how that goes. It's bottom heavy, mm -hmm. not, you know. And so, um, you know, basically what my aunt was able to do was kind of like lay that groundwork when she was able to transfer out of the assembly and into the corporate office um, as one of the second, you know, black people to be able to do that. Um, is and you'll see in the in the documentary, you know, acclimating the people to having a strong, competent black woman um, in the business office would then lead to them being able to hire, you know, Kay Black Perkins, another strong black, competent black woman, um, and very you know talented and creative in her own right, of course, in her own right. Um, so yeah. And the history of the Barbie doll definitely represents that uh, women who uh, are in the workforce uh, nowadays. <laughs> we don't know how many jobs ba Barbie has, <laughs> but but she definitely is an empower empowering doll. Uh, mm -hmm. The movie that is now out, a big blockbuster hit movie, and spoiler alert: there is a black Barbie president in the film, yeah. and I almost wonder if that had something to do with your documentary that whole tie-in 
well, you know, only they can tell us if that were the case, you okay. know, <laughs> you know, um, just put it out there. We'll say it is. Yeah, just put it out know, there. <laughs> a little representation in there. And yeah. The president of the Barbie land, you know, 